And before I get on with this axe, uh, S-Wing Axe review, I want to show Mr. Panda Cat up there on the hood of the El Camino. <laughs> this guy, man, I'm spoiling the hell out of him, man. I'll tell you that right now. I sure am. It's Panda Cat, black and white. Yeah, I want to point out probably your best off of one of these S-Wing camp axes over a Bowie knife because, uh, for one, it could be the legality of knives in your area. Number two, this is going to be a lot less likely to break. Number three, you could use it as a knife. And you're better off having a really tiny pocket knife and this than just a Bowie knife. Now, this is a cheap Bowie knife, just a $10 jobber. And uh, actually, not bad for 10 bucks, though. One of them Bud Case specials. Of course, I always like putting my politically incorrect flag on a lot of my videos here. Um, now, these two are basically identical, but um, you can see there's a slight difference in the length. And I heard that these leather washers actually outlast this rubber handle. But then, I'm not sure, like, you know, what kind of abuse these things are must be going under that you wear out this rubber handle, because I have one of these uh, S-Wing, I have an S baby sledgehammer that my great uncle bought back in the 1950s and it's still good <laughs> so I've been using it, I used it back oh, since I've been using it since the 70s, the mid 70s doing body work on cars ever since then and the handle still hasn't got screwed up this thing has S-Wing in Boston here so this one's slightly different, it's a, it's a sportsman's axe basically the same, just maybe an inch longer but this one has a tent pulling um, thing notch on there too, which I think tent pulling stake notch, which I think you can also pull nails with too. Well, so you can see they're basically look they're pretty close to the same. Um, these I'd say about the same head, about an inch longer on the handle on the on this one that's uh, for pulling that is designed to pull out tent stakes, and I think you could. Eh, maybe that's not sharp enough to pull out a nail, but maybe, maybe, maybe if you get it under there a little bit, it's more for tent stakes. But um, they're about the same price, and I, I don't know why uh, one's about, I think this one maybe is a dollar or two more, maybe because of the leather washers, but I think this one's a little bit better value because this one, no, well, it depends. Depends. If you're stowing this in a backpack, Maybe you want this because it's just a hair smaller, and sometimes that hair smaller makes a difference. But this, you get a little more swing on it. But as always, you could take the nax and you could sharpen it up pretty damn good, and you can use it like a knife. This one is small enough to use as a knife. And that is why I think that this, you know, a knife this big is kind of not as useful as a small axe and you notice how they have the heads on here they're kind of rounded a little bit so you don't have to worry about mushrooming the head when you're hammering a lot so you notice that guy's got a lawnmower in the background that's running kind of shitty <laughs> you tune up that carburetor in that thing man <laughs> actually there's a kit around here I have <laughs> you can see a gasket kit up here or something got one around here somewhere goes in there but anyway um yeah i think this you know versus getting a buoy now this is a ten dollar buoy though but you know i don't think this thing would hold up that great under but you know if you get a quality buoy you're going to be paying i don't know a good 50 bucks if you're lucky if you got a really good deal on it because you're usually they'll retail about a hundred and something like this is a little over 30 bucks if you look around so but you look at, you know, you're not going to break this. It's all one forged, one piece of forged steel. Uh, it's got a good type. Of, it's a good all-around axe for an everyday person. I know they got these Swedish and Finland axes that are better, but they can run you like 150, 200 bucks and stuff like that. This thing is just about as good. It's it's a nice balance of easy to sharpen and not not easy to chip or break thing is these handles seem to hold up very well and 
I'm not, I have not used, well, I've used the other S-Wing a lot, you know, because I'm familiar with this type of shock absorption handle. It does work very well. Now, I mean, this one's brand new, but the hammer I've used a lot on body work of cars and stuff like that, pounding out big um, dents in quarter panels and stuff. I mean, even straight now bumpers, you know. Um, this, but I heard this handle actually lasts longer than these handles under real severe abuse. And there might be a little bit better shock absorption. I don't know. I mean, to me, six of one, half dozen in the other. But I personally think this axe is a little bit better value than this one. Just because it's an inch longer and it has this notch on it, which I don't know if you can use that for a nail. It's not made for nails, it's not a framer's axe. Um, and that's another good choice, too, a framer's axe. But my point on this is that a small axe is probably far more useful than a, a Bowie knife of this size and you're carrying this around. You know, the axe is a little heavier, you know. This one's a little this one's a little lighter than this one, so maybe, you know, you might want to opt for that versus an axe. But you can do, use it as a cutting tool. You can you're you're gonna chop way better with the axe than the knife. And the other thing is Depending on the state and what kind of cop you run into, it depends, you know, because you know how some of these laws are getting in states. I mean, New York City, I think you probably couldn't walk around with a, a sharp pencil, you know. But um, some states, you know, have, there's various laws on knife laws. I don't really see too many laws on camp axes. And if you're doing some construction work around or you're trimming some trees or something around your house, or you 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 got it in your toolbox, and it's you're out there four by fouring or something like that, and you think, well, maybe I need this axe to clear a path. It's gonna, you know, somebody looks at it and sees you with it. They're not gonna, you know, it's law enforcement. I don't think they're gonna give. They might not give you a problem either way, but I think there's less problem with the axe. Now, in the future, in the way things are going. I think the only thing you're going to be able to walk around with is a ball of cotton or something, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> you know, things are going, man. It's getting ridiculous. But, that's, my point is, I think you're far better off with a small axe than a Bowie knife. And it's like a lot of people ignore this. And people have kind of overlooked the S-Wing. The S-Wing's made in USA. They keep looking for these, they either go for these real high dollar things or Fiskars is a good axe, but I'd rather have this. I don't see how the hell you, you really can't break these damn things too easy at all. I mean, it's possible. It's possible to break anything. But, <laughs> I don't know what you'd have to do to break it. I mean, you have to put it in a vise and take a 10 foot long pipe or something like that. Well, what would you do to break this thing? Or eventually you could chip it if you're striking wood with nails in it. I don't know, maybe you could keep chipping the edge of it. Or if you're smashing granite with it or something. I don't know what you could be doing, but under normal use, you're never going to break that thing. And, um, like I said, it could be used as a knife. A lot of people don't realize that these things can get pretty sharp. This one's sharp as anything, right here, right out of the box. And for like 30-something bucks made in the USA, can't beat it. Can't beat it. Anyway, over and out, just going to put some quick advice out there because people ignore the most simple, practical things out there. They do not, <laughs> they go for like the uh, marketing, heavy, mar heavily marketed things, the latest cliches. You know, it's almost like this little uh, Suzuki SJ413 I got here. This thing bone stock is pretty damn good. You don't need to go upgrade too much. You don't need the fanciest stuff in the world. To get a lot of utility out of something. A small axe like this, that's all one piece forged, that's been a proven winner, that's been made for many decades now, you're not gonna you're not gonna go wrong. And I think it's a lot more useful. If you were carrying this in the woods, I'd rather have this in the woods than this. To tell you the truth, I really would.